ice cream weather the next several days, too. Summer heat has returned as promised, and it's going to stick around for a while. Though today, we have a better chance for widespread showers and storms this afternoon. I'll go through those details in just a second. I want to show you the big picture now. And there's a cold front that's still way to the north and west of us, high pressure and control to the south and east. But we have the airflow around that center of high pressure, and so that's why we have more of a humid forecast as the wind direction will be more from the south and southwest for the next couple of days. Temperatures, therefore, warmer than, say, normal this time of the morning, this time of the year. We're in the 60s, very summery, 69 degrees in Boston, 66 ton, and temperatures will soar into the low and mid-80s once again, but it will feel like the low 90s from time to time with the humidity factored in. Satellite radar, we're mostly clear here across Boston, but a cloud deck will start to move in from the south and west. So more clouds today compared to yesterday. Partly cloudy skies this afternoon, and there you see after the lunch hour through this evening, there's a chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms. These are very slow moving showers and storms. The atmosphere, there's not a lot of a steering current to get these storms out of the way once they develop. So you may see kind of the pulse variety. They bubble up in the heat of the afternoon, and then within 20 minutes or so, they start to fizzle out. But they may not move very quickly, and that's why the biggest threat from these storms or showers prior to sunset will probably be the heavy downpours and localized flooding impact. We could see some large hail, maybe some damaging wind gusts, but this would be the exception to the rule. It's going to be the rain threat that's the main concern. Overnight, then, we lose the daytime heat and the instability, and we lose the rain chance. Temperatures go down into the 60s. We'll be partly cloudy, and tomorrow we refuel the atmosphere. Again, starting off dry, temperatures go up into the 80s. We'll have some humidity, and pop-up showers and storms will be likely in the heat of the day tomorrow. But not quite as widespread as what we'll experience today. Lakes and Mountains forecast, if you happen to be on vacation to the north here, beautiful temperatures, very summer-like, humid there too, though, to the north. Not a lot of relief, no matter where you go across New England. And be aware, pop-up storms and showers if you're out hiking. Now, in your seven-day forecast, you see temperatures will stay in the 80s through Saturday. There's a cold front that will help to cool us off just a little bit for Sunday. Less humid, high of 80.